a new thing is going to come in a different way so uh, first of all again sorry for that the teaser as you all are aware of right as you all are really aware of but this time why i kept this as absence as you all know that pw is a box of surprises so it means that something great is going to come on this channel something big is going to come on this channel right really big is going to come on this channel first of all i want to thanks right to all of my audience of this uh, english channel and the entire uh, pw youtube community that you have shown the tremendous love to all of our lectures especially to this uh, crash course uh, of the champion series right so again and again i am uh, thanking you all right for the cooperation for the time right you have contributed right i'll saying our lectures right thanks 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 a lot right keep supporting us keep loving us as you all are uh, or maybe you are not aware of but a new thing is going to come on this channel and obviously this is the last last session of uh, the champion series of the 11th slavers so as usual we used to start with hello bachcho satsri akal and namaste from my side so this is your own physics educator indrajit singh welcoming you all into the most adorable and most sensible platform for the aspirants those who are preparing for jwe neat kind of competitive examinations right as you all know pw is a box of surprises we are expanding in this different domains so uh, are you all ready for waves waves right the most important uh, topics related to the waves we are going to see today like what will be the doppler effect how we are going to solve the sums what are the shortcuts related to it and with the doppler effect we are going to see some cases of the open and the closed organ pipes and standing waves right some of the basic concept of the waves right and the speed of the wave sound uh, waves into the different mediums right okay lots of things are necessary and rest of the things i i can't say they are not necessary but right they hold a uh, less weightage from the examination point of view right so i think uh, the most important thing from this chapter right the concepts from this chapter right we are going to discuss in front okay so hope so you all are ready we are going to start with waves if you have seen my previous lecture of shm right and i bet you are going to enjoy each and every moment of it because we can completely correlate shm to waves right but with some additional features and that feature is of the propagation now what actual the wave is what is in the wave equation how wave is formed right okay from basics we are going to see but we are going to cover the most prior what we can say the prior topics of this chapter so let's start with waves the topics we are going to cover right first of all i will show you all how wave is formed the relevant wave equation when it is propagating into the positive x direction when it is propagating into the negative x direction spin of the sound right into the multiple mediums into the solid medium right the newton's formula the laplace correction the actual value of the speed of the sound right why it is considered as a pressure wave okay bits bit frequency the cases of the doppler effect 1d case of the doppler effect 2d cases of the doppler effect right the case of the doppler effect in which a reflection of a sound from a wall is taken right okay the cases of the organ pines and the relevant pyqs okay so this much a uh, stuff right why this much amount of the stuff because this thing is already going to repeat right we are going to repeat this fundamentals everything into the concept of wave optics the super is superposition principle is going to repeat right okay with the after ydac experiment right the maximum part of this right will be covered into the wave optics also right and uh, according to this chapter and whatever the amount of the research we have done in our past papers right the most repeated topics they have asked right on that basis right we are discussing this stuff right so let's start 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज पर अवर ट्रेडिशन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द फ्लो चार्ट द एक्चुअल फ्लो चार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इट्स वेव्स राइट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वेव्स कंप्लीटली मूव ऑन टू द फंडामेंटल्स राइट इन द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द वेव ओके फर्स्ट विल बी द वेव फॉर्मेशन सेकेंड इट विल बी द वेव इक्वेशन राइट third will be the parameters whatever the parameters related to the wave equations are there where we are going to define it right and we are going to discuss that part in detail okay apart from this fundamental progressive wave right the classification of the waves right classification of the wave that uh, transverse and longitude now lots of theoretical parts you have seen into the thousands of resources right but these are all included into the fundamentals right so this is a one part of the the very fundamental part of the waves chapter now after this the second part completely goes to right the sound wave why we are focusing this thing right sound wave because with this right propagation of sound wave in medium it will be discussed propagation of the sound wave right into the respective medium like right speed of the sound wave into the strings right newton's formula laplace correction right and we are going to identify the actual value of the speed of the sound in the air that is 340 meter per second approx approx or 330 meter per second right so this is the second part of the flow chart now let's move on to the third part bits in which we are going to discuss bit the actual concept bit frequency and with this beat frequency we are going to correlate beat and doppler effect right after this <coughs> okay the fourth part completely goes <coughs> to the doppler effect in doppler effect we are going to see right the basics of it in the doppler effect we are going to see the basics right basics with the cases of 1d what actual the uh, doppler effects is it's a relevant formula right cases of 1d and 2d motion right and apart from this there are some cases special cases like what happens uh, when the source is moving on the circular path right or it is performing in rotational motion Okay, this kind of the special cases are also there. There we are going to discuss into the Doppler effect. And the last part, right? Okay, of uh, the waves completely moves on, right, to the organ pipes. Right. We are going to discuss in this standing waves, open organ pipe, closed organ pipe. and correction so this is what an actual the flow chart of the waves is right if you want to have a snap of it i'm moving aside right on the countdown of 5 you can just snap it have a screenshot okay so it's 5 4 3 2 1 that's it okay now let's move on to the actual concept of the waves where we have seen waves into the day to day life how wave is formed how we can correlate the concept of the wave to an shm what will be its wave equation if motion is represented right then what will be its equation we have seen that part into the shm na if particle is moving to fro to fro to fro value is getting in between the value is getting fluctuated in between minimum to maximum right so for that kind of the motion we need to represent into the mathematical form so that's why we took the sine wave if you have seen the lecture of shm right the same 
if your wave is formed and it is propagating from source to some destination right then what will be the natural reason behind it how it is propagating how we are going to represent the motion of that wave is it actually a transfer of a particle or any kind of the med solid medium from one point or it is a kind of a right energy or momenta transfer lots of things we are going to discuss in this stuff in this part sorry first of all i want to show you all what actually the wave is right and guys uh, right we are going to see it into the very rapid manner because this lecture will be quite uh, short as from the topics point of view short in doesn't means right two to three hours is like uh, what we can say it's good thing that you all are having right two to three hours of the content is a good thing in the english that you all are having okay now let's move on right okay wave thousands of the students that went into the gym we have seen this kind right we have seen okay this kind of stuff you have seen okay so in this case i want to tell you all what actually the wave is first of all i want to write down a simple stuff something is getting transferred from one point to another and even this part of the motion is visible visible well, this is not a technical definition i kept some suspenses here right this is not i must say this is not a technical definition right this is just a small explanation that i have written right and something is getting transferred from one point to another point what is that something and why it is that visible how it is getting transferred if we are going to understand these three things right the concept of the waves the fundamentals right of the waves will be quite clear in front of you all right okay so now wave very simple thing right okay see wave is nothing else but the energy and momentum transfer tesla said you can explain everything the entire physics in terms of energy and lots of things uh, right are there but entire physics can be explained in terms of energy similarly what is getting propagated from one point to another point energy and moment how why entire physics right depends on why and suppose sir you said something is getting propagated from one point to another point and it isn't visible we considered your point we accept it right okay now you are saying that energy and momenta transfer is going on they are visible how how energy and momenta transfers are happening right and they are visible right so that's not fair so i have to tell you all in front right okay if they are visible it means there is a one medium in front and that medium is visible in that medium if energy and momentum are getting transferred from one point to another point right we can say yes things are visible in front of us at the very initial point and in the beginners level we can say wave is nothing else but an energy and momenta transfer from one point to another point on the next slide right okay i am going to discuss right why right so hope so it's a very simple definition right that you have, have kept in front okay now let's see the answer lies behind the formation of the wave how wave is formed if you are able to understand this concept right i'm damn sure right you will be able to understand how equation is formed and what is an actual analysis behind it suppose let us see can take example to understand this okay this is a rigid wall 
right and this is a string attached to it right if you don't want to consider any rigid wall it's your call right we are not in between that part suppose let's take in uh, another thing right this is a string okay and uh, it's attached to a wall let's take the rigid wall or a wall on this side right how wave is formed suppose this is a situation where it is equivalent to zero first part now i'm taking the second one suppose at t is equal to total time by eighth part the capital t is the total time for the wave formation whole divided by eighth part right the one eighth part of the total time taken right for a wave formation can i say one part of the wave is formed at t by 8th second let's move on to the third part t is equal to 2t by 8th second right t is equal to 2t by 8th second right the another part of the wave is formed see how it is formed right gently a force is applied right there is a wall string attached to it gently i'm applying a force right within a second high pulses form and it will propagate from one point to another point this activity we are going to discuss in detail again i'm repeating in front of you all there is a wall in front right a string is attached to it a gentle force is applied this force is not considered in this case because we are going on to the theoretical aspects of this chapter right a gentle push so what activity is going on what we are analyzing why lots of things we are going to discuss see what what actual activity is going on string is attached to the wall right uh, uh, the another part of the string is in my hand i'm just applying a gentle force a pulse is formed and it is propagating in this direction this activity we are analyzing right so when i apply this gentle force in one second entire pulse what form in one second mark my words in one second the entire pulse was formed so i'm talking about the eighth part of the pulse one by eighth time one by eight seconds this first part of the wave might get formed now what will happen here At t is equal to 2t by 8 this part of the wave is formed activity we are analyzing a gentle push we have applied let's move on to the fourth part at t is equal to 3t by 8 right this part of the wave is formed right now let's move on to the fourth part Slow, uh, sorry fifth part again this will be the rigid wall right this will be the rigid wall and we are going to see some examples of it okay see this one now at time t is equal to we have taken 3t by 8 so it will be 4t by 8 seconds right half of the pulse is formed right so on applying and gentle force right if in one second entire formation right of the pulses happen it like it takes place right so if so if we can say in a half of the second the half pulses form right now at 6 t is equal to 5 t by 8 right what's actually happening here t is equal to 5 t by 8 okay i must say let's select the color of this pen and extend right this is a rigid wall we have extended till bottom right okay extended till bottom rigid wall okay see now now 
this half of the pulse has shifted a bit a new part of the pulse is getting formed at t is equal to phi t by 8 let's move on to the next part at t is equal to 6 t by 8 right this part is getting shifted into the of uh, right okay and if i'm talking about the last t is equal to 8 t by 8 right the entire pulse is formed now my question is why is this taking this kind of shape why why we are saying it as a wave what is actually law what is an actual thing going on right to the back of curtain sir you showed us the example you have wigs right you have a wall in front you have attached that spring that string right now we're applying a gentle force right we understood your example yes this is how at a different time intervals the wave some part of the wave is forming and then the end we are getting the entire pulse but but why this kind of thing is happening why only this there might be there is a possibility na? why only this shape what is an actual logic behind it and still the students might be having the right questions in their mind still, sir, still we are not able to connect the energy and momenta transfer right the energy and momenta transfer and this this example we are not able to connect now we are going to see that stuff right this is how uh, the wave formation is right now see what actually happens see this is the rigid wall right okay now we are going to correlate the first two presentation slides right okay so to understand the concept of the waves right this is a rigid wall right and this is a string attached to it i'm extremely sorry for this stuff okay now see what happens here suppose this is x is equal to zero this is a position of the particle here there is one particle whose position is x1 here there is one particle whose position is x2 here the there is particle whose position is x3 here we are having the particle whose position is x4 here we are having x5 here we are having x6 here we are having x7 and here the last one it is x8 we are having the eight uh, particles that are kept on the string now what happens here right at t is equal to zero force is applied a gentle force is applied so the nearest particle right to the position where force is applied will receive that enormous amount of the energy and it will try to oscillate suppose that t is equal to zero from this position the gentle force is applied x1 will receive the enormous amount of the energy from that gentle force and on receiving the energy obviously here you have seen into the chemistry whenever the electron receives the energy right okay obviously the last part right into the orbit right okay always get unstable and it try to escape in another sense it tries out right whenever someone receives the energy obviously is into the higher state so what does he or she tries they like the boat tries they to uh, the release the enormous amount of the energy to get back to its stable state so when gentle force is applied what will happen here this part right will receive the enormous amount of the energy the particle that is placed at the position x1 it will receive the enormous amount of the energy now what happens here now he is getting unstable now he want to be into his back to its stable state so for that he will try to oscillate from its mean position this will be its mean position common for all now it oscillate it's try to oscillate right with some uh, maximum amplitude the maximum displacement and transfers the energy to the nearest particle first point right on receiving energy from source it oscillates the particle oscillates 
एंड ट्रांसफर्स एनर्जी टू द नियरेस्ट पार्टिकल्स इट ट्रांसफर्स दी एनर्जी टू द नियरेस्ट पार्टिकल नाउ दिस हैपेंस एट टी इज इक्वल टू टी वन टाइम नाउ एक्स वन इज ट्रांसफर दिस एंटायर एनर्जी वंस राइट to the particle on x2 now x2 received the energy again x2 wants to be in its stable state then what he will do again he will try to oscillate with the same amplitude and transfer the energy and he will transfer transfer the energy to the nearest particle so and to the second point now x2 will oscillate and it burst out it will burst out its entire energy right okay it will give the entire energy to the particle who is on the position x3 now is getting oscillated right first also oscillated with the same amplitude the second is also getting oscillated with the same amplitude right now the energy has been transferred to the third one he also wants to be in stable state right so he is also transferring its energy by oscillating to the nearest particle right okay now this thing happens like this way right all are getting oscillated and right transferring their energy right to the nearest particle sir still we are students might be having the question in their mind those who are watching this lecture right sir so still we are not able to connect how wave shape is formed because all are oscillating with the same amplitude same amount of the energy they are getting received they are oscillating the same amount of the energy they are transferring right all are oscillating with the common mean position all are oscillating right with the common amplitude then how wave is formed sir still right we are not see you correlated students might be thinking like that you correlated right they might be thinking sir you correlated the energy and momenta transfer with this example we understood but still we are not able to understand how this shape is formed guys i must say all are having the same amplitude correct all are having the common mean position correct but i must say they are oscillating at the different time instance mark my words again highlight i am highlighting right they are oscillating at the different time instance right all particles oscillates at different time instance right first this particle will get oscillate right okay after some amount of time this particle is getting oscillate so for that reason right okay this kind of the wave is formed this kind of the shape is formed and that's why we are calling it as a wave why wave the name itself says that it states that something means something is getting wavy what is getting wavy right lots of parameters are there but here something is getting wavy that's why it is named as wave right now uh, you all understood right what is a wave see again i'm showing all the first slide of this presentation the energy and momenta transfer from one point to another point right see here the person who is in gym is trying uh, he is not applying a gentle force right but here what happens here see again one point is missing right here we saw the formation of the wave now i'm going to talk about the wave propagation you can see here first time suppose if applying the gentle force right in one second the entire pulse is formed right the formation the concept the logic behind the formation of the pulse yes sir we understood one particle is oscillating and then transfers its energy to the another particle again it is oscillating transferring its energy to the another particle again it is oscillating like that way it is going on and one pulse is formed sir now my question is how wave is getting propagated 
if one is oscillating right and transferring its energy to the second second is getting oscillated and transferring its energy to third the entire phenomenon i want to ask you all a question right is this phenomena happening only once is this phenomena happening only once so, that depends on you that depends on the source suppose if i'm applying the force just a once right just only right one time if i'm applying a force then sa one way will form and it will propagate right why sir one wave is getting formed and it is getting propagated so the reason behind it is we are having the long string of length l and we have applied the gentle push as compared to the length of the string the wave is small right and energy see energy transfers always takes place between the source and destination in between those whatever the amount of the particles that are present all will get affected by the energy transfer it is a contagious right it is contagious if gentle force is applied right it completely depends on the length of a wave the wave length right if the length of the wave is equivalent to length of the string then only one wave formation takes place as compared to the length of the string right the wave is quite small that's why the one pulse is formed and it is getting propagated each of the particle is contagious right or it is transferring its energy to the nearest particle right and like this way the wave is propagating right now my question says like right my uh, my explanation right okay lies right okay now, now now i'm going to give you all a right a different answer for this suppose if the source is continuously applying the force till now we have seen the example in which source applies just a gentle force or he applies right the force once and the pulse is formed but suppose if i'm applying this force continuously right then n numbers of the pulses are formed right it means whatever the particle that was at the position x1 it was transferring its energy to the particle at the position x2 this is not happening only once continuously x1 is transferring its energy to x2 x2 to x3 now this is the rapid phenomena and the continuous phenomena going on so in that case n number of the pulses are formed one pulse is formed it will get shifted second pulse is formed second pulse is formed right first and second both will get shifted third pulse is formed why this kind of thing is going on because continuously source is applying the force right okay so again i am going back to the first part of the presentation something is getting the energy and momenta is getting transferred from one point to another point and they are visible why they are visible because we are able to see the string medium is visible are you able to write right uh, can you see uh, the radio waves can you see the waves that are used for the propagation right no why because that medium is not visible the waves are not visible because they lie they does not lies into the visible region of the spectrum but in this case whatever the string we have attached that has a capability right for the wave production right that is visible to the human that's why we are able to see this wave formation right so this is what the entire condition right of the wave is all about okay so you can understand how shm holds the most important like it it holds the prominent position right okay in understanding the concept of waves right shm holds the most prominent position right in understanding the concept of waves now let's see some terms important terms related to it okay now what will be its wave equation right first of all we are going to see some of the important terms then we are going to correlate that wave equation right suppose here the wave is formed right so the first parameter 
एम्पलीट्यूड द मैक्सिमम डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ अ पार्टिकल द एम्पलीट्यूड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एम्पलीट्यूड इज सेम एज वी हैव सीन इन टू द एस एच एम मैक्सिमम डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ पार्टिकल एट different positions right maximum from the mean position suppose this is a mean position right the particle is getting displaced to the maximum part right now in this way right okay we are having the two parts one it is known as crest one it is known as trough one it is known as node one is known as anti node i'm going to tell you all just move on to the nodes and anti nodes right why the reason is that right this thing this terminologies are quite right they are going to be helpful right while understanding the concepts of the organ pipes can i say this is a node can i say this is a anti node the maximum displacement of the particles from the mean position that will define its amplitude right the second most important terminology the second most important stuff right and that is wave length of what length one pulse is formed in thousands of resources you'll getting the you you'll be you have read uh, the okay enormous number the ample amount of that uh, this technical definitions but i'm going to as use as usual i used to say right in all of my lectures that i'm going to represent that definition that is quite easily understood by you all wavelength the length of a pulse shape that is formed the length of a pulse shape that is formed if the pulses of this right then this will be the wavelength and it is determined by lambda right wave speed right suppose at t is equal to 0 right a gentle force is applied and in the time interval between 0 to t1 one, one pulse is formed what will be this position of the pulse at time t2 right this will be the position of the pulse at time t2 what is the position of the pulse at time t3 is it propagating yes sir it is propagating this will be its position at time so at time t1 it was at this position at time t2 it was at this position at time t3 i'm talking about the entire pulse i'm talking about the entire wave right so at the different time intervals the position of the pulse is different so it means that this lambda is covering this time within some time interval some part of the lambda or lambda distance will be covered that will define the wave speed wave speed that is lambda by time right wave speed is completely we can correlate this to the propagation of the wave right we can correlate right uh, wave speed to the propagation of the wave the first part amplitude of the wave second part the length of the wave third is a wave speed the fourth is a wave number k that is defined as 2 pi by lambda now what will be the equation of the wave right angular frequencies and everything you all are aware of now here in shm only one phenomena was going on right particle was like oscillating to fro to fro to fro in shm for one particle right okay for one particle in surrounding there was no 
right see i am going to show you all the understand i am going to explain the understand bit uh, the difference between right i'm sorry i'm going to show you all i'm going to uh, like explain you all the difference the actual difference between shm and waves right so this is the most important question where all the students are getting confused the maximum number of the students will get confused right i'm going to give you the solution for that right in shm right we are not having any kind of the nearest particle right to which right energy can be transferred no we are not having that we were we were only dealing with one particle with respect to the mean position to fro to fro to fro but here in a surrounding we are having a nearest particle where energy can be transferred so shm we were only dealing with the see in that part we have seen that energy in the shm one is getting oscillated all of those fluctuations are going on in between kinetic energy potential energy kinetic energy potential energy kinetic energy but here what happens fluctuations are going on right but the energy is transferred to the the, the nearest particle is getting influenced as because of the previous one and he also starts uh, transferring its energy to the next the next position on which the particle is placed or particle is present right so this thing right in wave particle is getting oscillate transferring its energy in shm particle was only getting oscillated from one point to another point with respect to the mean position here it is getting oscillated also one wave shape is formed right and it is propagating also with respect to the time there is a slight this is a slight difference right now wave equations and wave conditions wave equation and the wave conditions okay see lots of classifications of waves are there right mechanical waves non mechanical waves transverse waves longitudinal waves in one which medium we can see medium is visible and lots of things are there and that is a quite easy part that is right understood by you all and that thing we are not going to discuss right but wave equation suppose at t is equal to 0 one wave is formed right okay this is a y axis this is an x axis right i told you all the reason behind it why wave is formed because the particle at the different positions right are getting oscillated at the different time instance right and the wave is this kind of the shape is getting formed as because of this energy transfer right now after some time this is getting propagated 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 right this is getting propagated you can see like this way so can i say at time t is equal to some t dash initially wave was at this position now the wave is at this position this is a final position of the wave this is an initial position of the wave right so here the two things are going on the first thing that is going on that is shm of a particle right the second thing shm of the oscillation right of the particle the second thing it is going on wave propagation right in a wave we have seen sorry in shm we have seen that whatever the particle is particle is getting oscillated with respect to the mean position right the motion of the particle is represented mathematically as a function of time the motion of the particle mathematically represented as the function of the time in shm we have seen suppose if you want to represent the motion of the shm of the particle right then it is always the function of time here it is something else with respect to time particle is getting oscillated also and the wave is getting propagated so it means whatever here the equation is coming it is as because of position and time both this will show the position 
this will show the time this is how wave equation will be represented this is how the wave equation will be represented the equation of a particle that is performing an oscillator oscillation or shm right we were representing it as right we were representing the motion mathematically we were representing the motion as the function of time but here wave is getting formed also and getting propagated also in the specific direction so this activity this motion right will be represented into the function of time also and into function of right in what distance it is getting propagated so same y is equal to a sine suppose it is shm then we are having the equation as omega t plus pi right we have seen in the previous lecture now what was the equation of shm y is equal to a sine omega t plus pi a was the uh, right amplitude sine function shows right that the factors are changing in between maximum to minimum right they are getting fluctuated in between maximum to minimum phi is an initial phase or it is also known as epoch here one new factor is added that is kx or in another thing it completely depends right how you are representing the wave right somewhere example of this is taken somewhere right a different examples are taken right it completely depends right how you are representing the wave it completely depends right so uh different sources different authors right they explain us into the different thing but i think we are going to understand this stuff by means kx minus omega t right y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t you can understand this thing right if i am expanding a sin of c k is 2 pi by lambda is x minus 2 pi by capital t why this equation is taken right right for the representation of a wave why see i'm going to show you all i want to explain that stuff 2 pi by lambda x lambda is the wavelength right this thing you all are aware of t is the time period right of an oscillation of an particle but small t is the fractional part of the time period right suppose the time period is 1 so at 0.5 second where particle is what is the position of the particle so that will show right i must write it as at specific time instance at specific time instance that is a desired time on which you need to calculate the parameters similarly if lambda is the wavelength that at this time instance which position of the particle is getting oscillated right which position capital t is a time period of the oscillation small t at what time you desire to calculate the motion parameter lambda is the wavelength x what part of the wavelength what is the position of the particle on the entire wave right at this time instance in another sense if you want to write understand it into the summarized form at this time instance which position of right particle is getting oscillated not position of the particle is getting oscillated but at this time instant particle at which position is getting oscillated this is a perfect term right so this is how the wave equation is there right and what will be the wave condition wave condition is quite simple 
if any equation is given to you then d square y right by dt square is equal to constant d square y by dx square right if this condition is satisfied right we were having the equation of the shm now right what was the conditions of the shm if right acceleration is minus omega square x if this condition is satisfied then particles is performing the shm if this condition is satisfied then particle is performing the shm right if this condition is satisfied right the particle is performing the shm but i want to tell you all like this way if right the uh, del square y by del t square is equal to k that is a constant proportional it is d square y by dx square if this condition is satisfied right i must say it will be the wave equation right any kind of the wave equation may occur it might be the square wave it might be the square pulse or triangular pulse lots of uh, right shapes are there so these are the wave conditions okay this are the wave conditions now right we have seen the representation of the wave we are going to see some two to three sums related to it right we have seen the representation everything we have seen okay see a wave traveling okay one thing i want to discuss right that you all are aware of right if the wave is traveling into the right positive x direction right then in equation we are having the negative sign that is kx minus omega t right or in another sense right if the wave is propagating into this direction negative x direction we are having the positive sign right this thing you all are aware of right now question has asked see these are the questions right based on the fundamentals some two to three questions we are going to see right a wave traveling into the positive x direction having displacement along y is 1 the maximum displacement along y is 1 meter can i say it is an amplitude amplitude it is given as 1 meter wavelength is 2 pi right wavelength is what 2 pi right it's not 2 pi m it is 2 pi right it is 2 pi are yaar what's happening it's 2 pi right frequency is 1 by pi hertz right this question is asking 2013 why right now what will be the actual equation of the wave see y is equal to a sine of kx minus omega t plus pi this is a standard wave equation right this is the standard wave equation right this is the standard wave equation now we are going to replace these values into form it right suppose if f is given right what will be the equation of omega omega is equal to 2 pi f so it will be 2 pi into 1 by pi so it is 2 radian per second what is the value of omega that will be 2 right now we need to calculate the value of k k will be 2 pi by lambda so it is 2 pi what will be the value of lambda it is 2 pi so value of the k will be 1 right can i consider this as equation number 1 can i consider this as equation number 2 can i consider this as equation number 3 replacing 3 and 2 in 1 right now it is given it is traveling into the positive x direction it means we are going to have negative sign into the wave so what will be the final equation y is equal to a right sine of right consider phi as 0 so y will be 1 sine of 1 x right minus omega t what is the value of the omega that we got that is 2 t right 
सो वॉट विल बी द इक्वेशन ऑफ द वेव वाई इज इक्वल टू साइन एक्स माइनस टू टी राइट दिस विल बी देव इक्वेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द गिवन पैरामीटर्स राइट दिस विल बी देव इक्वेशन राइट अकॉर्डिंग टू गिवन पैरामीटर्स राइट डी इज अ परफेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन डी इज द परफेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ अ वेव इन द स्ट्रिंग हैज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ सिंपल टू टू थ्री टू फोर क्वेश्चन राइट पी वाई क्यूज बेस्ड ऑन द वेव इक्वेशन वी आर गोइंग टू a wave in a string has an amplitude of 2 cm amplitude of the wave that is 2 cm the wave travels into the positive direction with the speed of 128 meter now wave speed is given right that is 128 meter per second and it is noted by five complete waves fit see this word is this statement is important five complete waves fit in 4 meter of the length it means what five pulses right okay the length is 4 meter right in five pulses are five pulses 1 2 3 4 five pulses are there it means length of the one pulse is lambda what is the length of the five pulses five lambda can i say it is equivalent to 4 What will be the wavelength of the four by five meter? This will be the wavelength, right? So can I write it here, lambda? That is is equal to four by five meter, right? The equation, okay now, as usual, what is the standard equation? Y is equal to a sine of k x minus omega t plus phi. See, suppose if the uh, description, right, uh, uh, the data related to the epoch, the initial phase angle, it is not given, right? Then always discard it. Okay, then right, this thing is going to be the better option, right? So I am rewriting the standard equation of the wave y is equal to a sine s k x minus omega t. right what is an amplitude of the wave it is 2 cm so it's 0.02 meter sin right still we are having right the two terminologies the first one k that is is equal to 2 pi by lambda right so can i say it is 2 pi by 4 into 5 this will be nearly equivalent to 7.85 So can I write it here? Seven point eight five x, right? Omega that will be is equal to in another sense, right? See here, lambda is given, v is given, right? So according to the see, omega is equal to two pi f, right? But you can replace this f. By this equation, v is equal to lambda. So you can replace this as two pi v by lambda. Replacing this value, we are getting omega as one thousand and five, right? We got our parameters. We replaced it. Now we got stuck. Whether the sign in that equation will be positive or negative. So the answer lies behind. positive x the wave is getting propagated into the positive x direction it means what sign will be negative so this will be the equatorial wave equation right c will be the perfect answer for this specific question let's move on to the next part the wave described wave equation is given right where x and y are in the meters and t is in seconds wave is traveling along which direction see minus sign is that it means one this minus sign shows wave is traveling into the positive x direction right 
okay now what would be its frequency what would be lambda it's a very simple thing right parameters are given see what is the equation of the wave y is equal to 0 0.25 right sine of 10 pi x right minus 2 pi of t this thing is given right so in this can i say this is an amplitude this is a value of k right this is a value of omega right so can i say k that is is equal to 10 of pi that is is equal to 2 pi by lambda pi pi is gonna cancel lambda is equal to 1 by 5 meter did we got the value of lambda 1.5 that will be equivalent to 0.2 comparing this equation to the standard equation of the wave what we are getting the value of the omega it's 2 pi can i compare this to 2 pi f frequency will be equivalent to 1 hertz frequency is 1 hertz wavelength of the wave is 0.2 meter and wave is propagating into the positive x direction c is the perfect answer for this specific question a simple question based on the wave equation this question is homework from my side right you need to right answer this homework question beneath the video right you need to answer this homework question beneath the video okay so now okay so students uh, let's move on to the uh, next topic right speed of the sound wave right into the different mediums but before moving on to this aspect right i want to ask you all a question right can we consider the sound wave right as the pressure wave can we consider the sound wave as the pressure wave is it possible see basically when we are moving on to the classifications of the wave <coughs> we are having the simple classification right on the mechanical waves and the non-mechanical waves right in mechanical waves right let's move on into the roots of it okay then we are having the uh, further two classifications that is right the transverse waves and the longitudinal waves right so the first thing i want to tell you all about that is a transverse wave longitudinal wave transverse wave and the longitudinal wave now what happens here if I want to talk about the transverse wave, then simply I can define it as, right, okay, the oscillation of the particle is perpendicular to the propagation of wave. Oscillation perpendicular to the propagation, but in the longitudinal wave, oscillation is parallel to the propagation in the direction of the propagation of the wave. Now what happens here? In the case of the longitudinal waves, right, whenever let us take an example right this is a wave is propagating from point a to point b this both are the part of the mechanical waves obviously they need a medium to propagate right and generally it is fixed that sound waves need a medium to propagate it is a fixed criteria right sound waves need a medium to propagate it's a very simple and fixed concept right so here suppose it is a longitudinal wave right and let us take an example if the wave is propagating into the positive x direction how the particles will oscillate in this direction right it means when the particle is at air it is oscillating in this direction right that direction that the, the direction of the oscillation right is in the parallel to the propagation of the wave right so in this case what happened right at the regular points right okay compression and the rare fractions are measured as because of this right there exists a pressure difference at the 
multiple points on the propagation of the wave, the path of the propagation of the wave. So that's why sometimes these longitudinal waves are also considered as the pressure waves. Sometimes these longitudinal waves are also considered as the pressure waves. So in this, sound is a longitudinal wave, right? It needs a medium to propagate, right? And in some of the cases, right, sound waves are also considered as the pressure waves while propagation, right, uh, some of the com uh, this compression and the rare fractions are noticed. Compression and the rare fractions are noticed. Now, basically three mediums are there. Right. Water. Okay. Now let's see on to the speed of a wave in the stretch string. I think this is the correction. It's not a sound wave. It is a wave into the stretch string. Now what happens here? Suppose if the wave is propagating from the stretch string, right? Okay. Then at the some specific point, we are able to measure the compressions and the rare fractions. But I'm talking about the topmost part of this. What happens here? Consider a small mass at this point. Right. Okay. While at the position where there is a maximum displacement of the particle, right, the particle of mass dm is facing the tension into the opposite sides. Right. Is facing a tension into the opposite side right okay so basically tension is having the two components right this will be the t cos of theta this will be the t cos of theta right this will be the t sine of theta and this will be the t sine of theta if you are considering this as the theta right okay so it means that the particle at the topmost position is facing the tension and tension is always tangent to that part Right. So this 2t sine theta, it is going to provide the necessary centripetal acceleration. Necessary centripetal acceleration. Right. So can I compare this to 2t sine of theta that is, is equal to dmv square by r. Right. So 2t, can I consider this theta is very, very, very small. So it is dmv square by r. Right, so here we got two t. Can I replace this angle? Suppose this length is dl, right? The length is dl. So can I say theta is equal to dl by r? So it's dl by r that is, is equal to dmv square by r. From here we are getting the for formula of right the speed of a wave into the stretch string, right? From here, right, and evaluating we are getting the speed of the wave on the stretch string as v is directly proportional to under root of t by lambda where lambda is a mass per unit length of the substance right lambda is mass per unit length of the substance so this is how it is derived how the speed or how the other wave propagates right through the stretch string and how the values are getting calculated i'm sorry for this error <coughs> okay now let's move on if i'm talking about the sound wave <coughs> right okay then newton gave us the formula now let's have the explanation of the newton let's take an example in between a and b if sound wave is propagating right in some of the cases sound wave is also considered as a pressure wave so at some points the compression and the rare fractions are measured as because of this compression and the rare fraction the tension is produced right into the previous case okay kindly just mark out this point right now Okay, because in this case is right uh, on the calculations, we are considering those as a longitudinal waves, right? And then and then only, if we are considering them, then if we are considering them as the longitudinal wave, then and then only, right, the compressions and rare fractions are made. Now, what Newton told, whatever the pressure differences are coming while propagation, right? They are also known as the right pressure. So, whatever the pressure variations are there. And whatever the energy exchange is going on, right, it is according to the thermodynamic process that is isothermal. He considered like that way. Right. Isothermal, it means that 
PV is equal to constant. The temperature is constant. He was no, he was Laplace actually corrected that stuff. But previously was a very great big person, bada bada admi, right? So they can oh, he's right, right. So in this case, velocity of the sound, right? It's p by rho, right? This is density of air. This is atmospheric pressure, right? Okay. So on replacing all of those values, he got 280 meter per second as speed of sound in air. He got 280 meter per second. So what happens here? Right. He was actually wrong. Laplace corrected that formula. He said that sound propagate very fast the propagation is like very fast and as because of that right as because of that right it does not have time for energy exchange as process is quite rapid so for that it is not isothermal wrong it is adiabatic process it is not isothermal it is adiabatic process it's not isothermal so it is actually pv raised to gamma is equal to constant and from that he determined the speed of the sound into the air as gamma p by rho where gamma is an adiabatic index 1.4 from that he got an actual corrected the correct value as approximately 332 and sometimes it is also calculated as 330 meter per second so laplace was a person who gave right the actual speed of the sound in the specific medium right so we are having some formulas related to it and on the basis of that right the actual speed of the sound air uh, right in the air is 330 meter per second so on the basis of that right we need to calculate this some uh, very simple formula very simple explanation and very simple stuff let's see a string of length 7 meter the length of the string that is is equal to 7 meter mass of the string is 0 0.035 kg if the tension in the string obtained that is equivalent to t is equal to 60.5 newton right then the speed of the wave into the string is asked in 2001 and 1989 see into the past years this kind of questions are not asked right because in this chapter the doppler effect and the cases of the organ pipes right plays the most prominent role right but 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 still we have to see this right so now we are having the direct formula of the speed of the sound that is is equal to under root of t by lambda replacing the value of lambda it is t by mass per unit length replacing all of those value that is 60.5 into the length 7 whole divided by 0 0.035 right we are getting the value right the speed of the wave as 1 1 10 meter per second the c is a perfect answer for this specific question direct Now let's move on to the next question the equation of the wave is represented by this then velocity of the wave will be what what very simple right equation is y is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 actually it is a case of the fundamentals but it's okay we are going to solve it immediately 100 t minus x by 10 right velocity of the wave v is equal to lambda f right can i consider this as equation number one if i am comparing this equation to the standard equation of the wave right then it is omega t minus k of x right omega t minus k of x right so k will be equivalent to 1 by 10 that is is equal to 2 pi by lambda so lambda is equal to 20 pi can i consider equation number two yes right omega that is equivalent to 100 that is is equal to 2 pi f so f will be equivalent to 100 by 2 pi 
can i consider this as equation number 3 yes replacing 3 and 2 in 1 right so v is equal to lambda lambda is 20 pi and this is 100 by 2 pi 20 pi and we are going to get 100 by 2 pi so this is 2 pi is going to 10 velocity will be 1000 meter per second this is a perfect answer for this the speed of the wave in the medium is 960 meter per second see in specific medium the speed of the wave is 960 meter per second 3600 waves are passing in 1 minute what is its frequency 3600 cycles are crossing in 1 minute then what is its frequency right very simple frequency would be 3600 into 1 minute then one second how much unitary method so here the frequency would be f is equal to right 3600 by 60 60 cycles are crossing in per second right now what we need to calculate then the wavelength of the wave will be what v is equal to lambda f right lambda is equal to v by f answer will be 16 meter yes it is easy as as much as what you all are thinking a wave of the frequency 100 hertz is sent in the string see a wave of the frequency 100 hertz is sent along the string over the fixed end frequency is 100 hertz when the wave travels back after the reflection a node is formed okay this thing yes this will come up into the uh, standing waves the temperature at which sound becomes double as that it was at 27 degree centigrade sound becomes double see the speed of the sound and the relation with the temperature is this right now can i say v1 by v2 that is is equal to under root of t1 by t2 the speed of sound is getting doubled right so it's v by 2v that is is equal to under root of t1 by t2 right so this v is going to cancel t2 is equal to 4 of t1 how much it is 27 degree centigrade right okay 27 degree centigrade okay as what as 20 day 7 so i think uh, yes t2 into 4t1 right okay so the temperature with that sound becomes double so this will be equivalent to what t2 that will be equivalent to 1200 kelvin and t2 that will be equivalent to 927 degree centigrade the c is a perfect answer for this question so this kind of the questions are asked with the propagation of the longitudinal wave through the material medium the quantity is transmitted in the propagation of wave this thing we have already discussed which quantity is our energy and momenta right energy and momenta okay so i think this was all uh, regarding uh, the this was all right regarding the speed of the sound is into the multiple mediums now let's move on to the most important concept that is the doppler effect right before moving on to the doppler effect right we will uh, see the bits okay so now let's move on to that <clears throat> we have seen till now uh, right the concept of uh, the speed or the propagation of the sound into the different mediums but we we saw uh, the corrected value of the speed of the sound that is 340 or 330 meter per second in some of the cases it is taken as 330 it depends on what data is given into the question so now we are going on to the most important and the prominent concept of this chapter and that is bits and doppler effect bits and doppler effect we are going to see some sums right in the cases of the 1d in the cases of the 2d we are going to see some different concepts and lots of things right right are going to come within just uh, what we can say the half an hour of this session right so it's doppler 
effect before moving on to the doppler effect let's move on to the concept of bits what actual the bits is right so i want to define if you want to define see when two sounds with very less frequency difference gets superimposed bits are produced i'm going to uh, show you all the live demonstration of bits right beats right you have seen this kind of a uh, thing that this kind of the visual you have seen into the lots of films right those who are playing dj they might be aware of on that screen this kind of the visuals are always going on okay so <coughs> bits <coughs> superimposition of the two sound waves with the very slight frequency difference suppose let us take an example to understand uh, let's take an example to understand it suppose this is a sound a this is a sound b they are getting superimposed at specific point right and one is of the frequency f1 second is of the frequency f2 this is sound right this is sound s1 this is sound s2 this is of the frequency f1 this is a frequency f2 they are getting superimposed at the specific point there is a slight difference between the frequency of uh, the two source right so here when they get superimposed and there is a slight frequency difference bits are produced mm. 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 that's a frequency the bit bits <coughs> very simple right i'm not going to move on to the very long explanation for this right because uh, separate questions based on bits are rarely asked okay always the questions of the bits with the doppler effect right okay uh, they holds the prior position and holds the highest weightage and there is even the highest possibility high right for uh, this kind of the questions okay so bits one is source of frequency f1 second is the source of frequency f2 as because of their frequency difference right bit is produced right and that shows the bit frequency now what is this word bit frequency one bit see as because of let us take an example right let us take an example to understand this suppose f1 value is 100 hertz right f2 value is right 101 hertz what is an actually frequency different that is one one bits per second are getting produced mm. 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 one bits per second so that will be a bit frequency na the technical word for that is a bit frequency one bit per second bit frequency one bit per second if suppose let us take another example if f1 we are taking it as an 100 hertz and we are changing the value of f2 as 102 hertz what is the frequency difference between them 2 hertz 2 bits see here can i say one beat per second it's a beat frequency two beat per second is a beat frequency two beats per seconds are getting produced when two sounds are getting superimposed with the very slight frequency one beats per second two beats per second Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
लाइक दिस वे लेट इज सेक एन एग्जाम्पल इफ वी आर गिविंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ वन एज हंड्रेड हर्ड एंड वैल्यू ऑफ दी एफ टू एज वन जीरो थ्री हर्ड वॉट विल बी इज डेल्टा एफ बिट फ्रीक्वेंसी इट मीन्स वॉट थ्री बिट्स आर गेटिंग प्रोड्यूस पर सेकेंड थ्री बिट्स आर गेटिंग प्रोड्यूस्ड पर सेकेंड थ्री बिट्स राइट वन बीट पर सेकेंड राइट टू फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर गेटिंग सुपर इंपोज विद वेरी स्लाइट फ्रीक्वेंसी डिफरेंस देन वन बीट पर सेकेंड इज प्रोड्यूस राइट सो इट सेट लाइक वन बीट पर सेकेंड टू बीट्स पर सेकेंड थ्री बीट्स पर सेकेंड लाइक दिस वे राइट सो दैट शोज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द बीट फ्रीक्वेंसी अ वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मूला वी आर हैविंग ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा वन प्लस और माइनस ओमेगा टू राइट एंड हियर ओमेगा कैन बी रिप्लेस एस टू पाई एफ फ्रॉम दिस वी आर गेटिंग इन अनदर सेंस राइट डेल्टा एफ दैट इज इज इक्वल टू एफ वन प्लस और माइनस एफ टू राइट नाउ दिस वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द बीट फ्रीक्वेंसी नाउ वी आर कमिंग ऑन टू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज द डॉपलर इफेक्ट राइट बीट फ्रीक्वेंसी इट्स ओके या सी इफ आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन दिस स्टाफ राइट एंड आई कैन टेक ओनली एंटायर आवर टू एक्सप्लेन दी बिट्स एंड बीट फ्रीक्वेंसीज एंड एन नंबर्स ऑफ सम्स रिलेटेड टू इट बट प्रायरली राइट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुला डेट आई शोड and the combination of bits and a doppler effect this kind of uh, sums are always asked into the examination so for that reason we are going to clear out the concept of doppler effect and then 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 we will move on to that part now i am going to show you all the live demonstration of the doppler effect i am extremely sorry for that i am going to show you all the live demonstration of the right okay uh just to hold on right i'm going to show you all the live demonstration what actual the doppler effect is right what will be its actual definition right we're going to see the lots of stuff right but first of all let's move on to the just hold on okay ओके अरे यार दिस सी इट्स डॉबलर इफेक्ट राइट इट्स सी दिस इज अ सोर्स दैट इज एमिटिंग द साउंड आई एम द लिस्नर राइट सोर्स एमिटिंग द साउंड आई एम द लिस्नर Okay, let's understand. Let's understand this. that was a doppler effect in doppler effect there is always one source that emits the sound and one listener that listens the 
sum right source emits the sound listener listens the sound there is always right whenever not there is always but whenever there is relative motion between the source and listener then one apparent effect is generated the name itself states that it is an apparent effect very simple thing right whenever i want to tell you all whenever see suppose let us take an example if source is emitting the sound of the frequency f if source is emitting the sound of the frequency f right if both are stationary right if both are say stationary so whatever the sound the source is emitting right the same sound f the listener are going to here right whatever the source will emit the same thing will listener right here okay now but if there is a relative motion between source and listener anyhow there exist the so the the relative motion between the source and listener then this f will get apparently changed and will produce one effect that is known as doppler effect i gave you all the live demonstrations of it when uh, see my while was a source i was a listener right when i kept it at some distance the frequency of the sound that the source was emitting the same right f the listener was hearing because there was no relative motion between the source and the listener now what happens here slowly slowly the source is coming nearer to the listener right so whatever amount of the f the source is emitting right whatever amount of the f the source is emitting right apparently f will increase right and when it will move away from the listener slowly 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 right in another sense while moving on from one point to another point near to the listener via listener right the lots of apparent variations in sounds are noticed that will create one effect and that is the doppler effect right that is the doppler effect doppler effect so simple definition of the doppler effect states that whenever there is a relative motion between the source and the listener any kind of the relative motion between the source and the listener so in that case what happens right whatever the f source is emitting will get apparently changed and heard by listener that apparent change into the frequency of f that is heard by listener will create one effect doppler effect <coughs> i'm sorry best example of the doppler effect right best example i'm standing on the platform train is coming near is crossing through that station right when i was just standing it is coming on from the left side and blowing a horn right so when it is coming near the apparent frequency of the sound is getting increased and when the train moves away from the listener the apparent frequency decreases so is it mean that train the see source is not giving the variations right in the sound no as because of relative motion between the listener and the train 
we are having the variations right train is emitting the sound of the frequency f whether it is moving with 20 meter per second or it is moving with 1000 meter per second right 1000 meter per second is not possible like whenever it is moving with 1000 meter per second yes possible possible i thought about 1000 kilometer i'm sorry right the frequency of the sound that is emitted by the source it is completely fixed right it is not getting changed but as because of the relative motion it feels to listener right that the sound frequency is getting either increased or decreased apparently that creates an effect which is known as the doppler effect right that creates an effect which is known as what doppler effect sorry for that is air conditioner part right i'm feeling okay so here what actual the core concept is see we are having always we are having one source right on the another side we are having one listener so source always emits the sound of the frequency f right okay now here he always hears the sound of the apparent frequency right f frequency right of sound emitted f apparent apparent frequency of the sound that is heard by the listener one that is the frequency of the sound that is emitted second that is an apparent frequency of the sound that is heard by listener right now what how we can correlate this according to the doppler's effect see according to doppler effect right the apparent frequency heard okay that will be equivalent to frequency of the sound that is emitted velocity of source this is velocity of sound right in air right velocity of the listener and velocity of source right that shows the concept of the doppler effect right in the concept of the doppler effect i must say right the sign conventions right are quite important right sign conventions are quite important right sign conventions are quite important okay so rather than to move on into the uh, right detail aspects of this we'll consider right each and every case and we are going to solve the sums right okay for sign conventions i want to tell you all right for sign conventions right anyhow if apparent frequency increases right see what is the actual formula f apparent right that is f v plus v of l by v plus v of s this is an actual formula of it v plus v of l whole divided by v plus of which see there can be any kind of the relative motion between the source and the listener we have to just check it out whether the frequency of the sound is getting increased or decreased the apparent frequency suppose the source is emitted as 100 and f apparent heard that is 200 so for sign conventions in this we need to adjust the value such that this f apparent should be higher than f right so for sign conventions don't get worried we are going to see the cases the 1d and 2d cases of the doppler effect right and we are going to understand the sign conventions through it okay 
okay so formula we have discussed right see now the case one of the doppler effect with all of those cases right we are going to understand the concept right the sign conventions of it now suppose here source is there right who is emitting the sound of the frequency f here listener is there right who is emitting the source or hearing the apparent frequency f suppose case number one velocity of the listener is zero and velocity of the source is v source is moving with the velocity v1 or let's take v1 right listener is stationary source is moving nearer to the listener right case one source is moving nearer to listener So what will happen here? Source is moving nearer to the listener and obviously the apparent frequency heard by the listener will get increased. So how we can write down this thing into the formula? F, the actual formula is F apparent is equal to F emitted V of sound in air, velocity of sound in air, it's VL by Vs. Are we having the velocity of the listener? No. Okay, now I am applying the sign conventions to it. F apparent is increasing. So here it means that anyhow we have to increase the value of F apparent as compared to F. For that I need to keep the minus sign into the denominator. And keeping minus sign into the denominator then obviously the F apparent will get increased. And it is matching mathematically, right? The equation mathematically is matching to the concept. Case number one. Let's take an example with the values to understand it. Suppose if the source is moving with 20 meter per second, velocity of sound in air, right? That will be equivalent to 330 meter per second frequency emitted by the source is 100 hertz what will be the apparent frequency directly we need to apply this formula 100 into 330 whole divided by 330 minus 20 right so what will be the apparent frequency heard that will be 100 into 330 whole divided by 310 right so f apparent frequency that will be 100 into 33 by 31 obviously this f apparent will be greater than emitted frequency this is the best way to write apply the sign conventions into the case of the doppler effect right the best way to apply the sign conventions into the case of doppler effect case 2 This is a source, this is a listener. Now again see this listener is stationary. It means velocity of the listener is zero. Now source is moving away with the speed v1. In previous case source was moving near to the listener. Now in this case source is moving away from the listener. What happens here? The f apparent right formula states that it is f right v by v and that is vl vs now how we are going to apply the sound sign conventions velocity of the listener is zero right so it means it will be f velocity of listener is zero so it is plus zero whole divided by v what is the velocity of source see now source is moving away right so the frequency the value of the apparent frequency that is heard by listener decreases so it means here we need to increase the value in the denominator so f apparent in the sign conventions in this case it is v plus v of s again let's take an example to understand this 
सपोज velocity of the listener that is is equal to 10 meter per second sorry velocity of source that is moving away from the listener velocity of the sound in air that is is equal to 330 meter per second apparent frequency heard that is 100 hertz what is the formula f apparent sorry f emitted is 100 it is f v by v vl vs plus plus this is an actual formula now we are applying the sign conventions that is 100 right using this formula that is 330 whole divided by 330 plus 10 right so what will be the apparent frequency that is 100 into 33 by 34 if you can calculate this i must say f apparent is less than frequency of the sound that is emitted why this happens because it is moving away from the listener case number two the 1d is a very simple case of the doppler now let's move on to the case number three. Again we are taking the source and we are taking the next party as listener. Now this time velocity of the source we are taking zero and listener is moving towards the source with the velocity v1. Now what happens here, right, what happens here, very simple thing, directly we are going to see now, the apparent frequency is getting, apparent frequency is a frequency that is heard by listener, when the listener, right, is moving and the source is stationary and the listener is moving near to the source, the apparent frequency heard by the listener is always increased, is getting increased. So in that case, this apparent frequency that is F is equal to V plus v of l by v plus v of s right this value is getting increased right this value is getting increased right so here if i am saying right this is a source and this is a listener right this is a source right source is zero so it is f right source velocity is zero so v plus v of l okay now it is getting increased so can i say this is v if we need to increase the value of the app apparent right okay it's v plus v of l let's take an example to understand this suppose right v1 the listener is moving with the 10 meter per second frequency of the sound that is emitted that is 100 hertz velocity of the sound in the air that is 330 meter per second what is an f apparent frequency heard according to this formula that is 100 into 340 whole divided by 330 if you are analyzing this equation right f apparent is greater than f of emitted right f apparent is greater than f of emitted right f of emitted so like this way let's move on to the fourth case Right, like this kind of the C basic sums of the Doppler effect are like this way. Right, source is moving listener, right, listener is moving near to the source. Now let's move on to the next case. Both are moving. Right. Suppose let us take an example, right? Both are moving nearer to the each other. The source is also moving, right? In the this side with the velocity v1, and it is moving like with the velocity v2. Right now, see if they are both moving near to the each other. Obviously, there exists a relative motion. Now, in this case, see if they are moving near to the, the each other, then F apparent is going to get increased. Right. So, according to the sign conventions, can I say the F apparent that is equal to frequency of the sound emitted, right, into V plus V of L plus V by S. Right. Now, we need to increase the value of F apparent. Why? Because it is given into the it is mentioned that both are getting near to the each other right so according to the sign conventions f apparent it will be f right to increase the value it will be velocity it's v plus v2 whole divided by v minus v1 right suppose we are taking an example to understand this situation right if the frequency of the sound emitted that is equivalent to 100 hertz right frequency of the sound that is emitted that is equivalent to 100 hertz right v that is is equal to 100 meter per 
ओके लेट्स टेक ऑन टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड बूथ आर मूविंग विद द वेलोसिटी ऑफ टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ईच अदर दैट इज वी वन एंड वी टू बोथ आर टेन वी इन एयर दैट इज इज इक्वल टू थ्री थर्टी मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके राइट यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला थ्री थर्टी प्लस टेन थ्री थर्टी माइनस टेन सो इट विल बी हंड्रेड इंटू थर्टी फोर बाई थर्टी टू दैट इज हंड्रेड इंटू सेवेंटीन बाई सिक्सटीन यू कैन शो द एफ एपेरेंट इज ग्रेटर देन एफ वाई दे आर मूविंग नियर टू द एज द लास्ट वन डे केस इफ दे आर मूविंग राइट ओके फार अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर right this is a source right this is a listener they are moving far away from the each other this is velocity v2 this is velocity v1 now if they are moving far away obviously the apparent frequency is going to get decreased the apparent frequency is going it is going to get decreased right so here we can say the f apparent that is equivalent to four frequency according to the sound sign conventions we will need to decrease the value of the f apparent so can i say it is f v minus v of 2 whole divided by v plus v of 1 right if you are replacing the values your f apparent will be less than f right why they are moving away from the each other like this way sign conventions are applied into the doppler effect and entire doppler effect is based on one simple formula another case of the doppler effect in which bits and bit frequencies are involved in which bits and bit frequencies are involved right sorry for that okay now let's see one car is there it is moving with the velocity v1 right this is a case of the reflection from the wall in this case this is not the 2d case of the doppler effect after this we are going to discuss the one of the 2d case of the doppler effect but this is what right in when then this in this case right the doppler effect is used twice right students are always getting confused in uh, some kind of examples in which suddenly the absorber the observer is getting converted into the source right that is one special right example for it okay then then we are going to discuss that stuff here only reflection from the wall suppose this is a car wall is stationary always the velocity of the wall is zero it is emitting the sound of the frequency f the wall that is emitting the sound of the frequency f right sound of the frequency f now what happens here into the first part of the doppler effect the car is a source first part the entire process is getting divided into the two parts first part the car is emitting the sound the wall is absorbing it second part wall is reflecting whatever amount of the sound is the it's receiving okay it's reflecting the entire sound with zero energy loss and in the second part right the scar is hearing that same sound okay with some apparent frequency this happens into the case of echoes whenever we are standing near to the hill area right and we used to roar hello and we used to hear the apparent frequency of this hello 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 like this so first part when car is moving near to the this is a source right wall is the listener right wall is the listener so what happens here right 
okay the apparent frequency heard by the wall that is frequency of the source emitted see now listener is stationary source is moving near it means whatever the apparent frequency that is heard by the wall it will get increased right listener is zero so it will be v minus v this will be the value of the apparent frequency that will be now there is a spatial characteristics of the wall the wall holds the spatial characteristics right the humans are having the two years now nah? humans are having a two years right whatever we used to hear from this side in hindi yeah, there is right ek kahawat hai ek kaan se suno dusre kaan se nikal lo right wall does the same thing right okay whatever the amount of the right frequency is getting absorbed the entire thing is get emitted gets emitted so suppose if f apparent frequency is heard by the wall right okay whatever wall absorbs whatever wall absorbs right it reflects back now here comes the second part in the second part wall become source right and the car becomes listener right wall becomes source car becomes listener now velocity of the source is zero and velocity of the listener right it is v1 that is moving nearer to the wall again right here the f apparent frequency 2 that is named as heard by car again that will be equivalent to f now velocity of the source is getting zero this should get increased it's v plus v1 by v right car is blowing a horn so it will become source the apparent frequency f that is absorbed by the wall the wall holds a spatial characteristics whatever it is going to absorb it is like it will release with no energy loss so first part completes here in the second part right the source become observer observer become or the source become listener the listener become source now when wall is reflecting back the sound then it will become source and the one car is hearing the apparent frequency it will become listener this is the spatial case of the doppler effect right sir we are having a question into the mind where bits are getting generated what will be the bit frequency what car is emitting f what car is re receiving apparent frequency 2 they are getting superimposed now nah? i am blowing up a horn continuously is getting reflected back so what i am emitting f what i am re re receiving f apparent 2 uh, are they are getting they are getting superimposed yes they are getting superimposed here bits will get generated in this case bit frequency f source emits sound of frequency f apparent to source receives the sound after getting reflected at this point of time at the car superimpositions will take place and the difference between this two right will generate a bit and that will be the bit frequency then this this kind of the questions are asked see what kind of the questions are asked see i'm going to show you all see suppose this is a wall right car is moving with the 20 meter per second speed and it is emitting the sound of 500 
Now they ask us the question, how many beds, right, car years, or what is the bit frequency? Simple. F apparent heard by wall. So that is, is equal to F, right? First, it is source and the wall is a listener, right? So it is V. We need to increase the value because, right, the source is moving near to the listener, right? Okay. So source is moving. So this is V minus V of S. So that is equivalent to 500, right? 330 whole divided by 20. That is 310. So this much amount of the frequency that is absorbed by the wall now, whatever wall is having the spatial characteristics, whatever it takes, it releases, right? So now what is the F apparent to heard? So that is, is equal to F. So it's 330 plus 20 whole divided by 330, right? So it is F into 35 by 33. What is the bit frequency? Right, that is F into 35 by 33 minus F. So it's 2F by 33. Right, 2F by 33. It means what? 2 into 500 whole divided by 33. 33 bits per second, right? car is your ring with this data this kind of the questions are asked and here the doppler effect is getting combined with the bits and bit frequencies here comes the 2d case of the doppler effect in 2d case it's a very simple thing it is based on one single concept in 2D and 3D cases of the Doppler effect, right, the velocity component that is approaching the, right, the line joining two particles will produce Doppler effect. Again, I'm writing down this statement. The velocity components that lies on line joining the source and listener or two objects right will produce Doppler effect. Right. Formula is going to be same. Sign conventions are going to be same. But let's uh, see this. Suppose this is a junction. Right. This is a source moving with the velocity v1 towards the junction. And this is the listener. Right. Moving towards the velocity v2 towards the junction. Now they are both are moving towards the junction. It means anyhow, right, they are coming nearer to the each other. It means F apparent frequency is going to get increased. Now, let's join the line between the source and listener, right? Okay. Mm, okay. This will be angle theta 1. This will be angle theta 2. Again, I am on my words. The components of the uh, this velocity that lies on the line joining between these two, right, will produce the Doppler effect. What is the component of the source that lies on the line joining V1 cos of theta 1? What is the component, right, of a listener that is joining on the line that lies on the line v2 cos theta 2 this velocity components will be considered as a velocity of source and listener and that will produce the doppler effect so entire 2d case of the doppler effect is based on a simple statement entire
so what will be the suppose the source is emitting the sound of the frequency f so f apparent heard by the source that is is equal to f right this is the velocity of the sound in air. Now see, they are coming nearer to the each other. According to the sign conventions, the value of the F apparent frequency should get increased. This is getting increased. It means beneath we are having negative sign. What is the velocity of the listener? V2 cos of theta 2. What is the velocity of source? V1 cos theta 1. This is how Doppler effect is applied into the 2D cases. This is how Doppler effect is applied into the 2C cases and it's all about, right? Apart from this, there is one rotation, uh, this, uh, the case, right? There is one special case in which source, a uh, listener is in between and source is moving around the listener into the circular path, right? It is a special case of the Doppler effect, but I think this much is enough, right? According to the weightage and uh, the importance, right? This much is enough. Now let's move on to the most important stuff that is the case, the very different case of the organ pipes. As I said into the beginning of the session, right, in this chapter, the most important stuff we are going to discuss, right, apart from this, there exists a superposition principle and some of the fundamental concepts, right, that are already been repeated into the wave optics, okay, because this chapter is having the good analogy with it, right, okay, so as I said, according to the exam point of view and what topic holds, how much amount of the weightage, and then according to that we are going to discuss okay in front the concepts in front now organ pipes before moving on to the organ pipes like let's understand the concept of standing waves let's understand the concept of the standing waves So students, uh, let's move on to the very simple concept of organ pipes. Student might be thinking, uh, sir, is it really simple? Yes, is it? It is simple. Why? Because the way I'm going to explain, right, you all get shocked. Yes, the most easiest way, right, to understand the organ pipes, I'm going to explain in front of you all, right? The most easiest way, I guarantee. But before moving on, right, on to the concept of this organ pipe, we have to move on, right? We have to understand the concept of the standing waves. <sighs> what actual the standing wave is, how overtones are produced, how we can correlate, right, to the fundamental frequency. See, to understand the concept of standing waves, I'm giving you all one example. Suppose there is a wall in front, I've attached a thread, a rope to it. Now applying a gentle push once. What will happen when pulse will be generated and it will propagate to the another part of the rod. Now, when I'm applying a push or like I'm applying a force when pulse is generated, it is propagating to the another part of the thread or a rope at another if it is fixed the another end of the rope if it is fixed then that pulse will reflect back from it that is known as a reflection of the wave where phase angle changes by 180 that you all are aware of now what happens right suppose continuously where i'm applying a force like this way continuously right n numbers of the pulses are generated n numbers of pulses are getting incident to the another end n number of the pulses are changing their phase by 180 degree and n number of the pulses are getting reflected back now what happens here n numbers of pulses are moving on getting incident to the another end changing their phase by 180 degree and get reflects back so what happens here here standing waves are produced the n number of the waves are moving in front and numbers of big waves are coming back reflect back they're getting reflected back right n numbers moving front and numbers are getting reflected back n numbers are moving front and numbers are getting reflected back so finally right they're getting superimposed and as a resultant standing waves are produced right 
let's understand this example right let's understand this example in detail right let's understand this example in detail now suppose these are the two fixed wall rope is attached to it a slight disturbance is caused in between like this way slight disturbance like this way right a slight disturbance is caused now what happens here see suppose if we are giving the high disturbance it's okay first string will right string will start moving up and down up and down and slowly slowly if right high force is applied right then this is a first part of the standing wave this kind of thing will appear in front right this kind of a thing will this is a part of a pulse so it is not an entire pulse but it's a part of the world pulse and this thing right will appear after this suppose again if the high amount of the force is applied continuously then what will happen slowly right the shape will be replaced by this way right now entire pulse is generated again if won't stops if it continues for the long amount of the time this kind of the shape is generated this will be generated into the second part and this will be done in the third one right so this is not actually what you all are thinking about thread is not taking this kind of the shape no 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 pulse is getting transmitted it is getting reflected back superimposition is going on finally this kind of the wave structures are formed right and those are known as standing waves right those are known as these standing waves let's have the detail analysis of it right okay see if i'm talking about uh, the fundamental mode of the standing wave the fundamental mode of the standing wave now what happens here right fundamental mode appears like this way this is the length of the spring right now we need to the second step is we need to identify nodes and anti nodes right this is a node this is an anti node and this is a node now just keep one thing into your mind distance between the two nodes it is always lambda by 2 distance between the two anti nodes is always right lambda by 2 okay and distance between the node and anti node is always lambda by 4 this thing you need to remember if you want right to understand the concept of the organ pipes into the quite convenient manner right if you want to understand the concept of the right uh, this one organ pipes into the quite convenient manner then you need to remember this right okay now what is the distance between the two nodes the simplest way i'm talking about right you don't have to remember the first overturn is going on the second overturn no no you have to just remember the fundamental logic of the standing waves what is the distance between two in this case what is the distance between the two nodes lambda by two can I consider the distance between the two nodes as the length of the spring? String. For this case only. So we got length of the spring as a string as a lambda by 2. Right. So what will be the lambda? That will be 2L. Can I say V is equal to V is equal to lambda F? So frequency is equal to V by lambda f is equal to v by 2 well yes successfully we obtain the fundamental frequency right this is the fundamental frequency 
राइट ऑफ द स्टैंडिंग वेव और द फंडामेंटल मोड ऑफ द स्टैंडिंग वेव राइट ना suppose if we are talking about the first two over 10 it is like this way right so again this is node this is node this is node distance between two node is lambda by 2 distance between two node is lambda by 2 can i consider this as the length of the string yes so in this case length that is is equal to lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 that is is equal to lambda so here the frequency of the first over turn right the frequency of the first over turn we are getting v by l or 2 v by 2 l now let's move on to the second over turn now see things are moving like this way okay this kind of the right standing waves are formed again this is node this is node this is node and this is node this distance is lambda by 2 this distance is lambda by 2 this distance is lambda by 2 so what will be the total distance 3 lambda by 2 so here the frequency of the second over turn right okay the length is equal to 3 lambda by 2 right so the frequency of the right uh, the second over turn is equal to 3 v by 2 l right can i consider this as equation number 2 can i consider this as equation number 1 can i consider this as equation number 3 from 1 2 3 right it is not important that you want you can obtain this equation the general equation of the frequency no it's there is no need for that right you can just understand the concept distance between two nodes lambda by 2 distance between two and t nodes right lambda by 2 distance between node and anti node like this things will get quite easy just calculate the distance between whether the see in between two edges whether the nodes are formed or anti nodes are formed just calculate the distance between them compare it to the length obtain the fundamental mode first over turn second over turn like that so this is the best way to understand this concept right first harmonic second harmonic third harmonic right so here what we got fundamental mode right we got it as fundamental frequency as v by 2 l right you can write down the equation as n v by 2 l where n is changing from 1 3 sorry 1 2 3 4 like that right what is the first over turn rather than to move on for the harmonics right okay just remember the over turns right frequency of the first over turn 2v by 2l frequency of the second over turn right okay that is f2 that is is equal to 3v by 2l f3 that is is equal to 4v by 2l it moves on like this way you can remember this stuff of the standing waves now in standing waves right we are having the concept of right the open organ pipe and same uh, the closed organ pipe same way we are going to use right same thing same thing we are going to the same procedure we are going to follow for the rest now suppose we are having the closed pipe in front first of all i'm going to draw what is the fundamental mode what will be the first over turn right okay there is a small difference between the fundamental mode and the first and second over turn let's see that stuff right okay closed organ pipe closed organ pipe right it is closed at one end right simple thing closed at one end a very simple thing now what happens here right when the uh, it is closed at one end right always 
एंटी नोड राइट ऑलवेज एंटी नोड इज फॉर्म एट दी ओपन एंड जस्ट कीप वन थिंग इन टू अर माइंड राइट ऑलवेज right always anti node is formed at one end right so here we are having node right we are having anti node what is the distance between node and anti node can i say it is is equal to lambda by 4 can i consider in this case the lambda by 4 as the length of the column lambda by 4 that is is equal to length of the column right lambda by 4 as the length of the column right so what will be the lambda that is 4l right what is equal to frequency v by lambda that is is equal to v by 4l this is the fundamental frequency right fundamental frequency of the closed organ pi a simple way to identify it now let's move on to the first right see now this is a closed organ pi first will be like this way now in this case here we are having the odd harmonics you can say half of the wave is formed are okay i'm going to show you all in front just hold on right now this will be uh, right the first over 10 right and this is known as third harmonic right so here again we are having node node anti node Distance between node and node lambda two. Distance between node and anti node lambda by four. So what is the total distance? The length is that is equivalent to lambda by two plus lambda by four. So that is is equal to three lambda by four, right? Okay. So here what will happen? Okay, the frequency of the first over turn, or that is uh, in another sense third harmonic, right? That will be equivalent to right. थ्री वी बाई फोर एल न लेट्स मूव फॉर दॉर द सेकेंड ओवर टर्न राइट एंड द फिफ्थ हार्मोनिक इट विल बी लाइक दिस वे राइट सेकेंड ओवर टर्न ओके फिफ्थ हार्मोनिक इन दिस केस नोड 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 एंटी नोड distance between node and node lambda 2 node and node lambda by 2 lambda plus lambda by 4 right so it is phi lambda by 4 so in this case the l that is equivalent to phi lambda by 4 and the second over turn or in another sense it is known as fifth harmonic right okay that will be equivalent to phi v by 4 l this is how things go on into the closed organ pipe very simple right this is how things goes on into the closed organ pipe see things are quite simple another part simple see in the closed organ pipe what happens right okay in closed organ pipe what happens right what, the things are closed at one end right so it means we are having the odd harmonics right that's why see if you can compare this closed organ pipe to this uh, standing waves in standing waves we were having fundamental mode first over turn harmonic like this way right okay but if we are comparing this to the this one closed organ pipe then we are having first over turn then we are having the third harmonic odd harmonics are formed why because the pipe is closed at one end but if i'm talking about the open organ pipe then it is quite simple right let's directly see open organ pipe is open at both end right first thing that i want to write it down here right okay on the both open side anti node is formed right so let's have the analysis right for the fundamental mode now in this case fundamental is like this way this is the fundamental mode and in this anti node node anti node right fundamental mode
Now what happens here distance between the two anti node, right? Can I say the length of the spring that is distance between two anti node, right? And distance between the two anti node that is equivalent to lambda by two, right? So here the fundamental frequency is V by lambda that is, is equal to V by two L. Right. So this is the fundamental frequency rather than to move on for the generalized concept or generalized formula, right? This uh, way is quite easy to remember this organ pipes, right? Just identify the whether it is node or anti node at the two edges of the organ pipe at the two ends of the organ pipe, calculate the distance between them, compare it to the length of the string and find the frequency. That's it. Right. Okay, now, like this way we can move on to this is anti node, node, right? Anti node, node, anti node, right? So, distance between two, this is lambda by two, this is lambda by two, total length lambda by two plus lambda by two, that is, is equal to lambda, right? So, here we are getting the value, uh, this. Uh, velocity as I'm sorry, the frequency as symbolic notations, right? F that is, is equal to 2V by 2L, right? Like this way you can calculate, right? This is the first overton, right? This is how our organ pipes are identified, okay? Now let's move on to some sums of related to it. An air column closed at one end and open at other. Okay, we are talking about an air column that is closed at one end and open and other. It, it means that we are talking about the closed organ pipe. It resonates with the tuning fork when the smallest length is 50 centimeter. See, this question is asking 2060. We are talking about the closed organ pipe, right? The smallest length, right? It means we are talking about the fundamental mode. The smallest length is 50 centimeter, right? It means we are talking about the fundamental mode. So here we are having node and anti node. Distance between node and anti node that is, is equal to lambda by 4, that is length and that is, is equal to 50 centimeter. The next largest length. So this is a fundamental mode. After that, right, we are having the largest length as like this way, right? So that will be equivalent to 3 lambda by 4. So the largest length that is, is equal to 3 into lambda by 4 that is, is equal to 150 centimeter. Right. C is a perfect answer for this question. See these kind of questions are there. It's very simple. Right. The fundamental frequency of the closed organ pipe of length 20 centimeters. See again. Closed organ pipe it is given. Length is given 20 centimeter, right? Second over turn, the fundamental frequency of the close equivalent to second over turn of open. Fundamental frequency of close that is equivalent to second over turn of open organ pipe right fundamental frequency of the close that is equivalent to see what was the fundamental frequency of this closed right we saw it right now only this from this right here the distance between node and anti node is lambda by 4 right so the fundamental frequency is v by 4 of l right so this is the length of the closed pipe what we need to calculate the length of the organ pipe that is open at both ends. Okay, no worries. Okay, so fundamental frequency of the closed pipe, it is V by 4L. Second overturn they are talking about, right? Second overturn of the closed organ pipe, it means it is 3V by 4L open. Right? So here VV is going to cancel right 4 is going to cancel right how much it is no i'm sorry 3v by 2l extremely sorry okay here 3v by 2l 
right so here we are having two okay so l of open that will be equivalent to three into two into l of closed right so six into twenty the length of the open organ pipe it is equal to 120 centimeter right b is a perfect answer in 2015 this question is asked as a pyq a closed pipe is excited to support the third overturn we are talking about the closed organ pipe it is excited to support the third overturn right it is found that in third overturn how many nodes and how many anti nodes are there question is asked in 1991 see this is a fundamental mode right in fundamental mode one node is there one anti node is there right if we are talking about the fundamental node right into the first overturn right node node anti node anti node two nodes are there two anti nodes are there in second overturn right in second overturn this is node 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 anti node anti node anti node three nodes three anti nodes see sequence is followed in fundamental one node one anti node in first two turn one two nodes two anti nodes in second over turn three nodes three anti nodes then what will be in third over turn four nodes four anti nodes this will be the perfect answer for this specific question you can even draw it right okay okay so this one is uh, yes this one is homework from my side right this question is asked in 2016 this one is homework from my side guys you can just answer this right beneath the video right into the comments i will be waiting for that okay it's a very simple thing okay this kind of thing you asked okay ah, sorry for this uh, right uh, thanks 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 a lot guys yeah uh, please uh, thanks uh, so it was a last session of the champion series right but uh, yet a lot of things are going to come okay things really are going to come and they are really going to enhance you right okay even the special message is uh, about to come from my side for the aspirants of j right okay so uh, at the very last moment of this lecture i really want to share uh, right the some of my best experiences with you all right when i when when we when the entire team we were about to start this champion series right a hard discussions were going on right so we were completely dealing with uh, right on the list of the requirements of the students that what we want to do what we want to do or what we do right what we want what we not want to do and what will be an actual thing that will be required for students right so after the uh, right analysis and this thing champion series came out and even uh, the students of JEN need were requesting also so we are in we are in need of this kind of series okay so champion series we started with the units and measurement followed by motion in 1d so when that discussion completed i thought yeah a new thing should uh, right introduce should be introduced for the welfare of i can't say welfare but for the betterment of the students yes betterment is a perfect word so at that time i thought yes so we introduced a teaser but i think it's not an end it's a beginning right it's not an end it's the beginning of a new thing as you all know the pw is a box of surprises yes new thing is going to come and this time i guarantee with teasers right a really new thing is going to come let's wait and what wait and watch right so just stay tuned to this channel right okay bundle of preparation things we are going to bring right in front and for you all and uh, again 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 i am really overwhelmed by the response that you all gave right to my teaser
really 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 thank you for that right you gave the awesome response for my teaser i did right many sleep sleepless nights are there right but i did i did for you all right i thought physics should be represented into the very different manner and i did it for you all so uh, again thanks right Okay, uh, we covered the maximum part that was needed from the weightage point of view for the examinations. The maximum part of this labor we covered. Still, content never ends, things never ends, creativity never ends, right? Innovation never ends, science, advancements into the science and technology never ends, right? But I assure you, the things are going to come into the most innovative way into the most creative way i guarantee things are going to really really the things are going to come into the most innovative way the most creative way that you have never thought of so that's why thanks 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 a lot for your love that you showered us on that uh, champion series as usual i will be waiting for all of your comments beneath this video right thanks 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 a lot so that's all from my side again we will be coming up with the new and awesome contents right for you all because this is a pw english right here we all are for you so this is indrajit singh it's not a buy or nothing like that but yes we are going to come with the double action we are going to come with the double teaser this time we are going to come with the new film soon so this is indrajit singh signing off from the dash bye bye satsri akal and namaste from my side bachcha ji and in last i want to tell you all never underestimate yourself there is always something special in every child it doesn't means one is getting succeeded other remains behind it doesn't means that you are right you are wrong or you will never get succeeded in the entire life lifetime in the life span no akhri mein hindi mein aapke sath i want to tell you just two things हारे हुए जिनको सफलता नहीं मिली है कभी बेवकूफ नहीं होते वक्त का तकाजा है राइट right? और इसका मतलब ये भी नहीं है कि वो जिंदगी भर हारे हुए रहेंगे द लास्ट थिंग वेन एवर यू विल फील लाइक यू आर फीलिंग सप्रेस्ड राइट और यू आर फीलिंग लाइक like in competition you are feeling just always keep one thing in your mind it reminds me about the shairi of a border chaman mein ik tihate rangbu se baat banti hai hum hi hum hai to kya hum hai tum hi tum ho to kya tum ho hum hi hum hai to kya hum hai tum hi tum ho to kya tum ho army air force Army, air force. Army, air force. Everyone is special in their respective domain, right? So students, Amisha, yad rakhna. Hami ham hai, to kya ham hai? Tum hi tum ho, to kya tum ho? So this is time to go. This is Indrajit Singh signing off from the desk again. Again, we will come back with this awesome session. We'll right and stay updated to this channel. This is Indrajit Singh. signing off from the desk bye bye sat sari akal and namaste from my side bachcha ji bye everyone stay at home stay safe stay healthy i miss this things right take care